Hi, I'm Clayton Turner, and I've been, I'm a student at the University of Idaho, and I have been doing this project, which is a ceramic printer for my class of CAD and CAM. And the purpose of this project is to be able to make catalysts for a reactor uh, using ceramic materials such as alumina. So the first step to get this project running is we need to take our extruder up here, and we need to assemble the extruder pieces. Uh, there's a auger bit inside of here that goes all the way down to this nozzle. And so what we first do is we end up putting this hose up into this T and then we clamp it in to make it airtight. And then we thread this piece on here that it actually threads on and off and it's a 3D printed part. Uh, and then there's a bushing inside of here that ends up making a seal between the auger head and, and uh, the T. And so once we assemble all this, we end up putting uh, petroleum grease on it, the jelly to, to lubricate it so that the threads don't bind up and that they don't gall and it keeps it protected. And then once we put this all together, uh, there's a little T-clamp here, a little piece here that we end up bolting on to hold the fixture into place. Once we attach this on there, we're going to attach the hose for the stepper motor and the, the cable for the stepper motor um, so that the 3D printer could end up controlling it. Once we assemble all this and put it together, and so it really is just a T, and there's a little piece here that comes off, and that's the, the extent of this part. Uh, we end up taking this hose right here, and we load it with clay. The clay we've been using is a 5% weight, uh, water weight clay. And it's air dry clay that we end up purchasing, so it already has some water weight into it. But for this purpose that we've been doing, uh, we added a, about 5% water weight to it, into this mixture to get it to print pretty consistently. Once we load this in here, uh, we, uh, we don't attach it to the T yet. We end up running the printer to make sure that it's all level once this extruder, extruder is all put on. And so to level the extruder, uh, we come to the printer over here and we push this level button right here and then we go to different points. And so I guess we'll just do point one. The printer is going to home itself and then it'll go to that point, point one. And what we're going to do is we'll take a piece of paper and we'll put it underneath it and then we'll twist this knob right here until the printer starts grabbing it and so it's still pretty loose right now and we're still loosening it and so now it's now it's firm if I go too tight I can't move the paper and if it's too loose it moves easy and so we go to about pretty tight not where it's stopped but where it's uh, where it's just in the middle. And then we'd go through and we'd do that with all the other parts. So just to show one more one more spot, we'd just move it over by pushing the second point on the screen. And it'll come down. And this one's too tight, and you can see that, so we're gonna loosen it. And now it's too loose, so it's easy to move. And now it's too tight, so now we're just right in the middle. And so we'd do that for every point. It'll go to this corner, it'll go to it'll go to all four corners, and then it'll go to the middle point where it'll go down, and then you check the middle point to make sure that it grabs the paper and it's firm. Uh, after we level the printer, we're going to want to run a print from it. Uh, and so we'd come over here to the printer. And this is before we put the clay in, we're gonna push the print button and we're gonna tell it to print. And the reason why we do this is because it's going to deactivate the hot extrusion and it'll activate cold extrusion for the stepper motor, which allows us to make so we could prime the nozzle. But once it starts running, uh, it'll go to the corner and it's gonna home. And then it'll come over to this point and they'll start printing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the stop now that it started printing, which now, like I said, 
this uh, deactivated and activate it activated cold extrusion for the extruder so that we could run it cold. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to attach this hose. I guess we fill the clay up here when we're doing it, but then we attach this hose to here and then we attach the air compressor to it. And with this weight that we're using of 5% water, we're going to set the pressure to about 65 or 70 pounds near four bar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the printer. We're going to push the extruder button. We're going to make sure that says about 10 just so we get a good flow and then have a normal speed. And then we're going to push in, which is going to then prime the nozzle. And we're going to see clay start coming out. When you're doing it for the first time, you just keep pushing that button and you'll see the clay slowly travel down this tube until it comes out. At this point, we just clean off the nozzle and then we're ready to print. And so to print, we just repeat that step. We go to print, go to your model, push confirm. Now we should be uh, ready to print once it starts going. And then it takes time to have to maybe read, fine, fine tune the printing, uh, fine tune the leveling while it's printing. But here it goes. You might need to adjust the pressure a little bit. But see, there it goes. It's printing our part. And right now, I have the pressure set to about 85 pounds. So here's the final product while that keeps printing. Some more adjustment will be needed from uh, the G-code models on our computer. But here's the final products where it'll come out. There's your layer lines and then there's the holes that we were trying to get from our, for our catalyst. And then once we finish these parts, we're going to take these part over. So this was the finished product. We end up taking it over to the oven where we put it in here and cook it away, dry it out. <laughs>